This is the first episode of The, the Watcher's, Watchers Council. Council. So pretty much what we're gonna do is get drunk mm -hmm. and watch episodes of Buffy, mm -hmm. give a little recap, yep. uh, mm -hmm. and pretty much talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer episodes and pop culture and whatever the hell else we want to. It's gonna, it's all gonna tie into each other. Like I feel like 90% of the conversation is just gonna be talking about um, celebrities with three names from the 90s. Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah Michelle Gellar. Uh, Two Sarahs. Freddie Prince Jr. Does it Jr. count? count? We let that count. We count it. Brian Austin Green. Melissa Joan Hart. Ooh. She's a witch. She's, so she's a witch. So, makes Rel perfect sense. Relevant. Oh, welcome to the Hellmouth. Recap, quick. Go, Orient. In episode one, uh, we're introduced to all of the main characters of the show, obviously. Um, Buffy moves to small town California, Sunnydale. From it's, LA. From LA, relocated with her mom, single mom, with a heart of gold. We love Joyce. She goes to school, she's trying to leave her past behind. Leave the vampires behind. Leave this is kind of a continuation of the film, but it was kind of reimagined. I, mean, I literally continue. saw on TV Guide that it said Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and I thought I was watching the movie on television. Really? I didn't know that. And then it was a new episode of a new show I never heard on YTV. I was like nine years old. She's Obsessed. Hot. She's hot. I'm straight. <laughs> I'm still straight. And I was like, she's hot, but I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> True. She knows what being a vampire slayer is. She did it a bit. She did it a bit. She's trying to get away from it. Yeah. New school, new watcher, new people, yeah. new vampires. Meeting everyone. It's new like, problems. Yeah, new, uh, yeah, exactly. Cheers. Cheers. The boy and this girl break into the school. They're breaking in. They're walking down the hallway or whatever. And you're like, oh my God, that poor girl is with this guy who seems really sketchy. He's wearing a leather jacket and he's like he's terrifying. Bad. He might be a he's bad so boy. What's bad. he gonna do to her? <laughs> and then as soon as we find out the coast is clear, she turns around, full on vamp face, <laughs> and bites him. And it turns out she's the badass. In Feminism, kind of. Here's you're the like, problem I have what? with this. This is clearly one of those things where they shot the pilot and had this character of Darla, and they didn't know that she was gonna turn into this crazy character that is throughout the show and throughout Angel and comes back yeah. and is super powerful and whatever. And very relevant, like she's just relevant to a bunch of plots. She, I mean, she like is. she turned Angel, she sired Angel, so it's really, yeah. she's been around for hundreds of years. Yeah. But the way they portray her in these first like couple episodes, like these first two episodes, yeah. is like she's just this wimpy little Yeah, like vampire. in retrospect, it doesn't make sense that she'd be like, I'm gonna be like one of the henchmen of the- Of the master. Henchwomen. Women. Hench women of the master feminism <laughs> <laughs> okay can we talk about the master for a second because he's clearly gay so gay the master for one minute try and picture the master being like darla but then you can't. but you can't but then when you're like luke is like master's little fucking bitch, bitch. like pool boy bitch yeah like get over here pool boy like i can see that happening with the master he, like turns that porn yeah. follow the link in the bio <laughs> Send us a link to that <laughs> form. Yeah. She turns into. She's a, also she, smoking hot. She also came into a store I was working at <laughs> once when I was a few years ago at a shoe store in Toronto, and I looked over and who is that gorgeous blonde? And then I heard her talk, and I mean, like her voice is what makes her Julie yeah, Benz. She's, so she's gorgeous, and she has that like amazing voice. A bit like the girl. She has a voice that's a bit like. Yeah. Uh, the girl from Chasing Amy. Yeah, yeah, oh, like the girl. Like, yeah, I know like, exactly what you're talking about. Those ones that me annoying would have totally. Told yeah, yeah, or like Biodome. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And then I tweeted at her, and I was like, "This gorgeous woman walks in." I think it was Julie Benz, and she tweeted back, and it was her. Oh, we love. We her. love Julie Benz. Also, like, I can't see the vampire book without f pronouncing it vampire. Slayer of the Vampires. Mm -hmm. Like obviously Buffy's hot, so Cordelia first sees her and is like, be part of the cool hot girl Yeah, she's club. like, listen, I'm here in my lime green cords and my brown striped velvet shirt. Yep, of course. And you have those bangs, so let's hang out. Did she get a nose job at some point in the show? I don't think she did. It just looks so like bulby, like it's a beautiful yeah. nose. I don't it's gorgeous. 
And she's like Diane Keaton and her scarves where she's like, there's like a clause in her contract that's like my space angles only. So Xander flies in on a skateboard, which he never does ever again in the entire like, li show. That's a literally a trivia that's, fact. That's a also. fact. He never rides a skateboard again. He holds it. Willow is just adorable. I love her. She does look like a high school student, but yes. like a like a grade nine, ten, third grade ten, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tenth grade. Yeah. Oh, I mean, to me, she cool looks like now. she's dressed as like a nineteen fifties maid. So. Allison Hannigan, God bless your soul. You look ridiculous in this person. And she knows it. How badly do I want to do a fashion blog of Allison Hannigan where she's just like, hey guys, it's me, Allison Hannigan. Check out this sweater I'm wearing. It's purple, it's furry, and it's got three sun hats on it. Dead on. Perfect. Dead Nailed on. it. Nailed it. Such, that's like her lookbook, what I just did. Giles. This is fun. I love seeing Giles in this first episode because he's very young Giles, new mm -hmm. Giles, and it's like he's not as, he's not such an authority figure to her yet, and like he's just like Yeah, because essentially excited. Giles is her father. Like Giles, yeah. Giles plays her her father in this show. You're he's like, like, oh, you're here. And he like presents her with the Book of the Vampire. And, it, and she's, and then, he, and then he's like sad, because she's just like, get out of here. Not into get it. Out you out get out of here. I don't want to Who do you think is more breathy? Um, Allison Hannigan or Kristen Stewart? Kristen Stewart. Okay. So, in this episode, we also meet one of the gang's other best friends, yeah. Jesse, played by who? Eric Balfour. Eric Balfour. We have a lot to say about Eric Balfour. Eric Balfour is the kind of actor that comes into a show mm -hmm. that you know is gonna die, or you know is gonna be he's written like, off. He's like, are you guys not sure if the show is gonna be successful or not? Let me let test me, the let me water. Test the water. <laughs> let me join the cast for a few episodes and then get... Oh, I love him. The only uh, Eric Balfour series that I have watched, he does not play a big role, but he like is in it and it doesn't ruin the show and it doesn't ruin him and he doesn't die. Is six, six feet under. Do you remember the OC? Do you remember that he was Eddie from the OC? He was Teresa's like kind of abusive boyfriend. And he's like likable, but he's like looks like a wolf. He's no, like he's likable, but he looks like his name should also be Diablo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's got the goatee. The guy hair. who's like, okay, I look a bit devilish. I'm gonna run with it. I'm gonna and rock like, it. Soul patch for days. He's really pointy. He's point. He's got pointy features. He looks like he would have like a, a like a a tribal esque or like fire tattoo somewhere in oh, his body. Oh, for sure. Oh. He has like, he has like the tattoo of the sun around his belly. Yes! <laughs> One thing you should take away from this, it's that you need to it like immediately Google Eric Balfour, where is the sun? Where's the sun tattoo? Cause it's, it's somewhere. It's around his belly button. Or his nipple. Total nipple. He's got a piercing. For sure, 100%. <laughs> There's no way he doesn't. Needless to say, the, he's only in like two episodes. <laughs> and then he dies. Uh, Buffy, Xander, Willow, Cordelia, Eric Balfour. <laughs> Eric Jesse. Balfour. Eric Balfour, you can't see him. Anyway, Luke comes and attacks Buffy, and we're like, oh my god, he's so strong and she's so tough. And it's because Buffy hasn't really been trained. Like, she's yeah, there's a, the, like, you can't be hard on her at this point. Yeah, she's, she's new. Just, she's new, and also, like, she doesn't have... The smarts, how, like, the I would, experience. I would say, like, 30% of it is confidence. Like, right? what is and, it? Like, Outliers? Knowledge. Like, 10,000 hours of something makes you... <laughs> anyway, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's all these vampires coming and Buffy's facing off against Luke in this tomb and things aren't looking good for Buffy. No, but like, I mean, it'd be a really short show. Oh, imagine, it's just a, <laughs> she just dies. It's just a YouTube video. Very sexual. Everything with the show is very sexual. Vampires so are very sexual. sexual. Like that's their, in their nature. They were seductive, like, like that's blood, why. Blood and. I mean, Pussy. sex is just mis mixing fluids. That's all sex is, and that's what this show is. Amen. Amen. Uh. Oh my god, Buffy's in this freaking like, coffin in this tomb, and Luke is on her, and he's right about to bite her, and then... To be continued. But guess what? We're gonna continue it We're gonna do in the it right next now. episode. Double header, special double header. See you in episode two, See the you. harvest. See you guys later.